everybody, this is Suzanne from Wickham Insurance and Financial Services. I wanted to bring you guys another video to discuss today about a topic. Um, I was reading an article and I was very surprised to hear this, so I just wanted to share this information with you. Um, Georgia is ranked one of the highest states for um, traffic fatalities. Um, so, in 2022, the National Highway of Safety Administration has released estimates so far for the year of traffic fatalities. Um, and it's estimated 20,175 people have died in motor vehicle traffic accidents. And it's the highest number of deaths during the first half of the year since 2006. That's really surprising to me, um, but I guess it does have something to do with more drivers on the road as well as um, the population increasing. So I thought um, we could discuss some ways to try to help and bring these numbers down. Um, earlier in the year, the NHTSA, which is the National Highway of Traffic Safety Administration, um, released a comprehensive national roadway safety strategy. And this is aimed to reduce serious injuries and deaths on our highways and roads. So check that out online. It's called National Roadway Safety Strategy. Um, and some ways that I just kind of wanted to remind people is be aware of your, of your driving. While you're driving, focus your attention on your driving. And you need to be defensive because another vehicle may not be paying attention, but if you are, you can help to defuse a situation by, by being a defensive driver. Um, be aware of your cell phone use. Georgia is a hands-free state, so if you do need to make a phone call, be sure it's hands-free. And of course, no texting, if at all possible, unless you're stopped. Um, be respectful of the vehicles around you. Try to abide by the rules of the road. If you're at a four-way stop, you know, and you get there at the same time, the person to your right um, would go first. Um, speeding through a red light or getting the end of that yellow light, you really, I think they say you're supposed to go ahead and slow down when you're getting to the intersection for a couple of reasons, to be sure nobody else is gonna be running the red light and, and to just be sure you're coming to a stop um, instead of running that red light. Um, keeping your headlights on, especially when it's dusk, when the sun starts to go down, um, just having those headlights on can be an extra little preventative measure you can take. Um, of course, you need to buckle up, as always. That is a good safety feature that they still emphasize for everyone. And you don't want to get a ticket for not wearing your seatbelt anyway. Um, be aware of the speed limits where you are. Um, I know you want to speed, or if you run that red light, you're really not going to get there much faster, and you're going to get stuck at the next red light too. So um, just try to keep yourself calm when you're driving and tell yourself it's going to be okay, you know. Um, just be careful on the roads. Of course, no drinking and driving. That's an absolute. It's just not worth losing your life or, or someone else losing their life. It's just not that important. So I hope these little tips just help to bring it to the top of your, um, your mind. Just a little reminders that some of us forget about while we're driving. And um, I hope you all will be safe. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you.